The WBC and the WBO Junior Lightweight Championships of the World are on the line. Please welcome the challenger, Robson Conceição, and the champion from Newark, New Jersey, Shakur Stevenson. All right, before we get into a little back and forth, we do have some special guests in the building who would like to come up before we, uh, we get to the fighters. Uh, Dylan Wanagale, the Vice President of Sports Properties and Special Events here at the Prudential Center. Uh, Mitty Baraka, the Chief of Staff for Mayor Raz Baraka, City of Newark, is here as well. And Dr. Courtney Johnson, the Principal of Quintenham Street Elementary, and Roger Leon, the Superintendent, are also here as well. Why don't you all come up? I know you have a few words that you would like to say. Dylan Wanagale, please take the floor. Thank you, Mark. Tess, this is good? Yeah. Thank you, Mark. Um, on behalf of our managing partners, Josh Harris and David Blitzer, our CEO, Tad Brown, our president, Jake Reynolds, our EVP of programming, Sean Seda, and everyone here at Harris Blitzer Sports and Entertainment and Prudential Center, we want to sincerely thank our partners at Top Rank, led by founder, CEO and International Boxing Hall of Famer Bob Arum for delivering, and his world-class staff, for delivering the first World Championship Boxing event to Prudential Center for the first time since 2017. Thank you very much. We'd also like to thank ESPN for their continued support of boxing, and they have a great staff to work with on every event. What does this mean for our venue? For our venue to provide this center stage platform to Newark's hometown hero, Shakur Stevenson, to defend his lineal world championship belts in front of his fans, his community. It simply means everything to us. So thank you everyone once again. Also, Newark does have a proud Brazilian community and they will be out in mass to support their own Robson Conceição. On the heels of recently hosting the iconic MTV Video Music Awards, as well as seven consecutive sold out concerts. This is the 15th year of Prudential Center, and this is the 40th year of New Jersey Devils hockey. We're thrilled that ESPN will deliver a global audience once again for the city of Newark and the great state of New Jersey. This live events business essentially is about creating memories. If you would like the memory of goosebumps like golf balls, high-fiving a perfect stranger next to you, you want to be here on Friday night. Tickets are going fast. I want to wish all the fighters on this tremendous card the best of luck. It's a massive undercard, as you just saw. Yes, sir. This is going to be an electrifying night of professional boxing. We'll see you all here Friday night. Thank you. Thank you, Dylan. Mini Baraka, Chief of Staff for the Mayor, Roz Baraka, City of Newark. Dylan, can I grab that microphone, please? Thank you, sir. Good afternoon, everyone. I just want to invite the council up with me, council president. Welcome. Because the mayor couldn't be here, um, I had to step in for the mayor. My name is Amidi Baraka, Jr., chief of staff to the mayor. And we just want to present Shakur Stevenson with this proclamation from your hometown of the city of Newark. It's an honor and a privilege to be up here with you, my brother. And you're a role model for a lot of the youth in the city. So I just want to say thank you. It's a proclamation on behalf of the mayor and the entire city council. Thank you, too. That is Shakur Stevenson Day, September 21st, 2022. That's unbelievable. Official day. Thank you. I appreciate that. Hey, guys, why don't you come right up front here for a picture? Right up front here. Shakur, right in the middle. Shakur Stevenson Day.
Now I'd like to welcome Dr. Courtney Johnson, principal of Quitnam Street Elementary. Come on up. Some very special young guests. Why don't you come right up front here? Good morning. Joining me on the stage is Su Su Superintendent Roger Leone. It is an honor to share this experience with our students. As an alumnus of Quitman Street School, Shakur Stevenson, your commitment, your dedication, not only to Quitman Street School, but to the community at large is inspiring. And we look forward to joining you on Friday right, with our students. So at this time, I'm gonna turn it over to Jaquem Wallace and as well as Tamia Vargas, who will present our Quitman Street School shirt to no other than Shakur Stevenson. If you could join us at this time. Thank y'all, appreciate y'all. Thank you, principal, superintendent, students. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. At this time, I'd like to uh, welcome to the stage Bob Aram to join us for, uh, for our press conference. Thank you, everybody, tuning in for your patience. Shakur, I want to start with you. Uh, obviously, a couple of unexpected things there this morning. Uh, you got a day named after you from the city of Newark. What does that mean to you? It means everything to me. I, uh, I appreciate the support from Newark. Um, I'm turned up. I put in the work, and honestly, I'm just ready to fight, man. Robeson, I'm going to ask you as well. Uh, we have a translator for you. Uh, obviously, Shakur is from Newark. But Newark has a huge Brazilian community. What has the reception been like for you this week? Uh, Robson, Shakur é natural de Newark, mas Newark também tem uma grande comunidade brasileira. Como é que foi essa recepção e como é que te sentes? Bom, chegar aqui para mim foi muito motivante né, de ter essa recepção maravilhosa da torcida brasileira aqui presente. Ele está na casa dele, mas eu também estou muito bem representado por todos os brasileiros que moram aqui. Well, it was very touching for me to feel this warmth from, from my community. Yes, I understand that Shakur is a native, but I also feel right at home and I feel really well represented as well. Bob, welcome to the stage. Uh, two incredible fighters who I know you're incredibly passionate about take center stage Friday night. Talk about this fight for you and what it means to the company. Look, as far as we're concerned at top rank, this is what it's all about. Shakur and Robeson had their first professional fights uh, with top rank. Now uh, they're fighting for a world title on the big stage with millions of people watching on television and throughout the world. Uh, you saw previously all these young men who were fighting uh, the, uh, on the undercard fights they will soon take their place uh, on, this, on these kind of, this kind of stage, fighting in main events. This is what boxing should be. This is why at the age of 90, which I became in December, I'm still around doing it. Because nothing, nothing can be as satisfying as taking young men and bringing them to prominence in their chosen profession. And in Shakur and Robeson, we have two class acts, two wonderful, wonderful boxers who will put on a tremendous performance on Friday night. And I want to thank the Prudential Center. This is really incredible. I know they designed this weather for us. I, I mean, this, nothing could be nicer. And uh, 
Uh, it's going to be a great night on Friday night. I want to advise everybody to come early so they can see all of this talent uh, in the ring uh, from the first fight until the main event. It's going to be a terrific, terrific night of boxing. It's going to be an incredible main event. Champ, two belts on the line in your backyard. Do you feel a little bit of added pressure because we're fighting in your hometown? Nah, I don't really care about that. I ain't too much focused on the pressure. Uh, I'm really focused on putting in uh, the work come Friday night. Uh, I'm just ready to fight at the end of the day. So all I could think about is fighting, performing, and that's everything that's on my mind right now. Every time we sit down like this, it's always the case with you. Your, your big smile comes out, and you're just excited to get into the ring, and you're all business. How was camp in Houston before coming home? I think this has been one of my best camps. Like I feel like my last two fights been my best performances, but I think this camp been my best camp, so I think that this fight might even be better than my last two performances. So um, I think that we're going to go in there, and we're going to beat them up. <laughs> I'm going to go at it. For Robeson, uh, what, how excited are you, and what does this opportunity mean to be fighting for two titles Friday night? Uh, Robson, como é que tu te sentes? Quão motivado estás? E o que é que representa esta oportunidade de estás a lutar por, por dois títulos esta próxima sexta-feira? Bom, eu me sinto muito motivado, determinado para essa luta. Trabalhei bastante, me dediquei uma vida inteira. E essa é uma grande oportunidade. É, tipicamente, ele estará lutando contra um campeão, porque o mundo viu, todos viu minha vitória diante do Oscar Valdez. E hoje ele não vai estar defendendo dois cinturões, e sim um, porque eu sou um campeão sem coroa. Bom, well, uh, I'm very motivated. I trained all my life for this moment. Uh, the world was able to see that I was better than Oscar Valdez. I should have won, so he's not really defending two titles, because actually one should have been mine. I'm just a champion without the crown, and I'm ready for Friday night. I want to bring that up because a lot of people do believe that, you know, you edged him out in that fight. Obviously, the decision didn't go his way. But what can he take from the Valdez fight and then the obviously the big win over Martinez? Those past two fights, what have they done for him to prepare him for Friday night? As duas lutas que tu, tu tiveste, tanto com, com o Martinez, mas com o Valdez, que, que grandes lições é que tu podes ter tirado dessas duas lutas e o que é que podes trazer dessas lutas para esta sexta-feira? Bom, é, dois, dois grandes atletas, né? Tem, tinha, Valdez tinha o meu respeito antes do DOP e depois... Não mais. O Martinez, um atleta também com um grande potencial, foi uma luta muito mais difícil do que contra o próprio Oscar Valdez. Uma semana antes eu estava de Covid e mesmo assim consegui ir lá e fazer aquele grande espetáculo diante do Martinez. E na sexta-feira eu estarei pronto para lutar contra o Stevenson. Well, Martin, I actually had respect for both. After what happened with Valdez, I kind of lost my respect for him. Martinez, I think it was great. Actually, a week before I had COVID and I still went there and it showed a great boxing. So from those two fights, I mean, I, I'm just very confident that I'm ready for this, for this Friday and it's going to be a great match. Shakur, hearing those comments about, you know, the Valdez fight, does he present any challenges that you think will be out of the norm? Any surprises you think coming your way Friday night? I mean, he's a good fighter at the end of the day, but um, I think he lost to Valdez. I feel like if you left it in the judges' hands, you lost. So I fought Valdez. I beat the shit out of him. So at the end of the day, I don't got no excuses to get talk about he got COVID or something before his last fight. All I'm hearing is excuses at the end of the day. Um, I'm ready to fight. Tell them don't have no excuses Friday night. I'm ready to beat them up. You, you can if you want to translate, you can. You said, you know, he, he left it in the judges' hands with the Valdez fight. Do you, do you plan on not leaving it in the judges' hands Friday night? I don't leave no fights in the judges' hands. I take everything. I go in there and I take everything that I go get. Robeson, I'm going to come back over to you. He, he just said that he, he doesn't plan on leaving it in the judges' hands. What do you plan on doing Friday night? Uh, basicamente, o que ele disse foi, uh, ele também lutou contra o, o Valdez e, e, e ele ganhou, portanto, acha que tá, tu estás a vir mais com des, des, desculpas do que outra coisa. O que ele quer é que não tenhas desculpa esta sexta-feira, porque ele está pronto para pa, ganhar. Uh, portanto, o que é que tu tens a dizer sobre isso? Bom, ele é um atleta jovem, é 
com muita determinação, um pouco emocionado, um pouco... Fala um pouco demais, né? Mas ele tem... Quem tem suas bocas fala o que quer. Ele tem até meu respeito, minha admiração, mas... É, infelizmente para ele lá de cima do ringue só vai poder sair um campeão e nunca subestime um homem com vontade e gana de vitória e esse homem sou eu, da jaula só vai poder sair um campeão e esse campeão com certeza será eu, nunca me subestime Shakur, Shakur is someone that I, that I really respect, He, he's a great athlete young, I can tell that he's young and he's probably overly excited and he speaks a little bit too much And, and this coming Friday, there will only be one champ, and that champ is me. Champ, you want to respond? He thinks you speak too much, and on Friday night, he's going to have the belt. He's too old. <laughs> If I'm young, he's old. Bob, how do you feel about that? He, he just <laughs> told him that Robson's too old. Age is just a number. <laughs> I think we're going to end it and right there. that's why Bob Promoe. Listen, on He behalf of everybody here at Top Rank Boxing, you do not want to miss Friday night. As Bob mentioned, the undercard is absolutely stacked. We begin at 6 p.m. Eastern time on ESPN+. And then we move over to the network at 10 o'clock Eastern for our co-feature and the main event right here. The challenger, Robson Conceição, the champion from Newark, New Jersey, Shakur Stevenson. To everybody tuning in, thank you so much for joining us this afternoon. Again, we're live at the incredible Prudential Center here in Newark, New Jersey. We'll see you right back here tomorrow for the weigh-ins. As always, this is boxing. This is Top Rank. Have a great afternoon. Thank you so much for watching this video and make sure to subscribe for more videos of your favorite fighters over here on Fight Up TV and give us a follow online as well at Fight Up TV on Twitter and on Instagram. We appreciate it, guys.